Vandana Deske, Assistant Professor, Department of Triple E, SJBIT. So, welcome to Relay and High Voltage Lab. So, this is experiment number one. So, operating characteristics of electromechanical over current relay. So, in this experiment, there are two kits over here. One is a relay panel, the second one is the current injection source kit panel. The connections in this, we will have a look into it initially. So the current source cable that has to be connected which is coming from the injection source kit panel. So two knobs are there, so that has to be connected and inserted over here. Coming over here, the next one is the relay contact panel. So relay contact knobs that has to be connected over here to the relay contacts in the injection source kit panel. So coming to injection source kit panel, there are two displays. One is the current, how much we are going to give input to the system. Second thing is the time. Okay, timer, how much time it has taken, that information will be displayed in the screen. Second thing is current control. So there is a demonstrator over here, the current will be injected into the system. So basically how this relay works over here is, a rated current example say 2 amps, if we give beyond that 2 amps, my relay will be operating. So if it is less than 2 amps, example say 1.8 amps, my system won't be detecting, that is the relay won't be detecting, it will be under normal working condition. If it goes beyond 2 amps, example 2.5 amps, the relay will be operating. Okay? So now we will have a look into the practical conduction of this experiment. So connection as of now we have done over here and there are few basic settings in this electromechanical power current relay. Please come forward. So here you can see there are two settings, one is with the M1. Uh, there are few knobs over here, you can see over here, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. 3, 3.5, 4. So these are the electromechanical base. Manually we have to insert it over here. So one is with the bottom, 1.5 is the top. So likewise, say example I am inserting at 2. So that is my M1 setting over here and M2 setting is for this relay is 0.5. So meaning over here is, so 2 into 0.5 is 1 amps. So now this is my 1 amps is the rated current uh, which is there in this relay setting. And there is one more knob over here, this is called as time setting multiplier, TMS. Okay, here you can see it starts with 0.1, so like this is 0.2, this is 0.3, this is 0.4 and this is 0.5, so 0.6, likewise the it has been erased as of now this is say 0.7. Okay, so this is the TMS setting over here. So here you can see a disk which is there. On the top you can see there is a disc rotation, is it visible? So here you can see there is a disc which is there, so for each and every trial this, this should be stopped and there is a flagship over here, so each and every time we have to reset it over here. So now we will go with the conduction of it, so initially uh, we have set it for 2 M1, rated current is 1 amps. Okay. So now I have to inject more than 1 amps to the system. Example, say I have to increase now beyond 1 amps. So now I am giving around 1.5. Okay. So initially we should not take this reading. After setting and do the reset over here. Now for the same trial, now for the same trial we will start. So for the current of 1.52 you can see the timer is running and once the relay stops you can hear a noise so right now it has crossed 15 seconds 20 seconds 23 seconds now you can see over here disk is rotating and now it is coming to halt position okay so now the time taken over here is 23.84 seconds. So for the next trial, we need to reset it over here and go for the next. So before going for the rest, we will try to increase a little bit, okay? And then switch it on. Say example, I will give now 2 amps, okay? So stop this trial and retrial for that one more setup. So for 2 amps, let us see what is the time taken now. Earlier it had taken 23 seconds. Now the time should fall. Less than 23 seconds it should take. 
so you can see here now the relay is operated you can uh, clearly hear the relay contacts switching closed the time taken over here is 11.29 second why now the current has increased the time should come down okay so for the next trial we will go for the reset of it okay so next trial i will try to further increase it to 2.5 okay so let's wait for the disc to stop now the disc has stopped now i have increased the current to 2.5 so earlier that uh, it had taken 11 second now you can see it has taken 8.3 second so earlier it was 23 11 second now it is 8.3 second now it is clearly give the conclusion that the more the magnitude of the current over here the time taken is falling we call it as inverse definite minimum time characteristics so there will be a question why what is the reason over here so the more the magnitude of the current my relay should be sensing at a faster pace and then it should trip it up if the relay is not working what happens to this is the more the injection of the current over here it will be directly passed on to my the power system all the equipment which is connected to that particular power system line that gets damaged so my relay will be quickly sensing to the particular uh, current and then it will trip it off okay we call this as inverse definite minimum time characteristics for this sort of thing so we need to plot of uh, current versus time over here clear thank you